guys, I'm Momo's Data, and welcome to another review. This time we have the Zero Point Energy Field Manipulator, otherwise known as the Gravity Gun. So yeah, I just got this in from NECA a couple days ago, and this is a replica of the Gravity Gun from Half-Life 2. Um, I love Half-Life, one of my favorite games, I'm sure all you guys do too. Half-Life, Portal, basically anything by Valve is a really great game, and... This, when I heard that this was going to come out, I was like, yeah, it's a little pricey, blah, blah, blah. I did order the Portal Gun replica from NECA uh, the previous year, and it's right here. I'll do a comparison with it later, but, and I really liked the quality of it. I thought it was really great, so I, I was hesitant, but I did order this bad boy, and now it's finally here, ready for me to do a review for you guys. So let's take a look at the box real quick. I really love the design of the box. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know what you call it, like a chest with the, you know, the flip, you know, the metal prong things that flip open. Really cool. I think it's a really nice design. You can see a picture of the gravity gun right here. Um, zero point manipulator, so ages 17 and up, you know, you can't have little kids playing with this with this gun. You don't want them to alter, you know, gravity with, without parental consent, if you know what I mean. But the top of the box, another picture of the gravity gun. Half-Life 2, and it, we got some uh, different features that this thing has, so, you know, fold-out kickstand, actual duct tape, I'm excited for that actual duct tape, uh, um, we got the dual trigger action, the LEDs, which is always really cool, the retractable claws and everything, really awesome, and basically everything else on the box is basically the same, got another picture on the other side, but overall I really like the box, and can't really wish for anything better than this, and by the way, this thing is huge. And I had to order this thing, so I had to go to the post office and pick this up, and yeah, I barely fit in my car, so huge box, like this is my hand compared to it, like it's big. But let's get right on to the actual gun. And out of the box, this thing is very impressive, everything looks spot on and accurate, couldn't really ask for any more, but look at this, it's just, well, there's no duct tape, there is no duct tape. Tape. It said right on the box, actual duct tape, where is the duct tape? That's my question to everyone at NECA. Where is the duct tape? I am upset. I'm but upset. taking a closer look at this, I think it turned out really nice. Uh, if I just bring it up a little bit closer here. Um, it actually really does look like metal. I think they did a great job on that, as you can see. A uh, little complaint is that these, like the metal parts right here, are a little flimsy, as you can tell, because it's plastic. But I think they still did a good job on it. Nothing really to complain about. You can see that the these are actually articulated too. They, they move up and down. So depending on how you want it. I usually just put them straight out. Just to make it look the coolest. And the other handles right here. So you hold it like this. And this handle actually does come off. And yeah. I'll put it in backwards. That's, that's always nice. Uh, there we go. So yeah, it's uh, really nice, as you can see, everything is spot on accurate, got the little valve right here, let's take a look at the other side, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, I actually really like it, but the main feature of this thing is the LED lights that are in here, and there's actually LED lights on the top of each end, so let's take a look at that in the dark, let's see what you guys think about that, okay, uh, just brace yourself, brace yourself. Blinded by the light. Yeah, it's pretty bright. I think it looks awesome. Uh, another little small, small complaint. The LEDs on the end of like the uh, the claws are a little dull. They're not as bright as the middle here, but that's understanding because there's probably more in here. But just take a look at this. Oh, I accidentally uh, put off a little alarm there. But um, yeah, so you can see that they're kind of dull. It still looks good, but just saying, I wish it was a little bit brighter, but... Really nice overall, even on the front, you can see, really nice, it lights up really nicely. So, and for the sound effects, we got, oh yeah, and, uh, and that, oh, oh, yeah, look at that, pretty awesome. And we can even see that there's a light right here on the, on the other end right here on the front. I think they did a really great job, I really like this thing, it's going to look really really nice next to my portal gun replica so yeah they pretty much go hand in hand with, with that but I would really recommend this if you're a huge fan of Half-Life 
this is pretty much the holy grail. I mean, what else could you ask for? You want, you want, you want a crowbar? Just go to Home Depot. You know what I mean? But it's really great. I think it's worth it. But again, if you do not want to shell out the 150 that this thing costs, then don't. Because it's not really necessary. Again, it's for like the holy grail of the ultimate Half-Life collector. And, you know, I got a whole collection in my basement. I know that sounds really nerdy, but whatever. And this looks really great in, the, in my basement as one of the centerpieces. So it's really awesome. I think NECA did a really good job. So again, if you want it and you're hesitant because you don't think it's like good quality, you know, you're not going to like it. It's good. Take my word from it. It's really great. I, th I, It's worth every penny to me. But again, it is a little bit pricey, so if you don't want to shell out the money, then don't. But overall, great replica by NECA, and yeah, that, that's about it, you know? Just be careful. Wear sunglasses when you put this thing on, because it's pretty bright in the dark. But um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to check something else out, I'm actually in a podcast called The Lost Bros Podcast. We're on iTunes and Podomatic. It's me and a couple other nerdy guys, and we talk about everything from video games, movies, comics, everything, man. So if you want to go check that out, go ahead and check it out on iTunes, The Lost Bros Podcast. You can also follow me on Twitter at UnblessedData, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for more. Bye.